So you're here because you think you're not a good friend. Or maybe you're here because you have a bad friend and you want to explain to them why they're not a good friend. Or maybe you want to just tell somebody some tips on being a better friend because they asked you. I don't know why you're here, but regardless of the reason you're here, my name is Mercedes Neighbors and today we're going to be talking about how to be a better friend. So anyways, let me stop talking let's get right into this video. Tip number one. This is how you're going to be a better friend. You're going to check in on your friend. You're going to grab your phone right now while we're talking about this. And you're going to text them, call them, do whatever you're going to. Actually, don't call them until the video is over. But you're going to text them and call them after this video is over. You're going to check in on them and be like, hey, girl, how are you doing? How have you been? Haven't talked to you in a while, especially if you haven't talked to them in a while. Because they need to know that you're thinking of them. Because you should be thinking about them. Because you want to be a better friend. Right? Right. Okay. Moving on to tip number two. Tip number two, let your friends know that you're grateful for them. Are you grateful for your friends? What is a good memory that you have of them? What is something that you wish you would do more with them? What is something that you really love? Like, when you think about them, do you remember that time we all used to play Just Dance all the time? Do you remember that time when you used to get coffee every morning? Do you remember that time when you used to study and do your homework together? Tell them that. Oh my gosh, girl, remember that time we used to do this? Da -da 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 -da. I really love that. Like, I really love spending time with you. Let them know that you're grateful for them because you are grateful for them. And you're a good friend, so you're going to communicate to them. Moving on to tip number three. This is something that I used to have trouble with. I used to do all the time. Cutting people off in conversation. Please, don't cut your friends off in conversation. It's something that I don't like that people do. And it's something that I do sometimes. And I, like, hate that I do it. So it's something that I do, but I hate, but I hate when people do it, you know what I'm saying? So don't do it, okay? Don't cut your friends off in conversation. Listen to them. Listen to their stories. Listen to what they have to say. Think about what they have to say, and then respond to what they say. And if you really do need to cut them off in conversation, maybe you have to go. Maybe it's something urgent. Maybe that crush of yours just responding back, and you really need to tell them right now, right now, right now, girl, I'm so sorry to cut you off, but please, let me tell you this story real quick. Look at who just texted me. Can you believe that? I'm but anyways, let's, we'll talk about that in a second. What, what were you saying? You know, that's what you need to do. You need to apologize. Apologize to them for cutting them off and then continue what you have to say. If you really must cut them off, but I highly recommend that you wait. If it's not urgent, that you wait until they are not talking to then switch the topic. Tip number four is to be empathetic. Step into their shoes. I feel like I talk about this a lot, but it's so important to know that like it's not just about you. You're not the only person in the world. Your friends have lives. They like wake up in the morning and brush their teeth and eat breakfast and like do things all day long. We, even when you're not there, it's crazy, I know. So empathize with them. Step into their shoes. Something happened with their family. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, do you need anything from me? What do you need from me? Da -da 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 -da. Do you need somebody to talk to? Like, communicate with your friends. Empathize with them. Be a support system for them. That is so important. It's so important. And that's how you're going to be a better friend. Tip number five. Tip number five is to build trust. Everybody wants a trustworthy friend. Everybody wants a loyal friend. Nobody wants somebody who they feel like they can't talk to, who they can't be honest to, who they can't open up to and tell their secrets to. You want to be that person everybody feels like they can talk to. You want to be that person everyone feels like they can trust. That is how you're going to be a better friend. That is how you're going to be able to get close with a lot of people. And you're not going to tell people's business, okay? My business is not everybody's business. Your business is not everybody's business. Your friend's business is not everybody's business. If you don't want them to know that you're sharing this information, don't share it. If you don't want them to know that you said that, don't say it. If you don't want them to know that you did it, don't do it. You want to be a trustworthy friend. You want to be somebody that people can rely on. So you're going to be that. You're going to be exactly that. You're going to trust them. They're going to trust you because neither of you are going to give each other a reason not to trust each other. Okay? Okay. Tip number six, applaud your friend's achievements and support their dreams. Your friend wants to be a YouTuber? Okay, share their videos. Your friend wants to be a singer? Okay, share their music, listen to their songs. Your friend wants to be a doctor? Help study with them, I don't know. Do something to support your friend's dreams. Clap for them when they make an achievement. Be there for them. I had several friends congratulate me on my 250 subscribers. 
which I am so grateful for because that's them showing that they're great friends, okay? And when they do something, when they get that A in that class, when they do that thing that they didn't think they could do, even as simple as like, I got up to this morning and I went to class. I got up this morning and I ate breakfast and I don't usually eat breakfast. You know what, congratulations, good job. You need to celebrate their small wins because people love to feel celebrated. People love to feel like you care about them and that you support their dreams and that you support even their small achievements. So make sure that you're supporting your friends. If your friend just did something, it's even as simple as like, you see something on their story, you see that they got an A on their story, oh my gosh, good job. You know, stuff like that. Just being a positive person in their life, being somebody who is like good energy around them, that's how you be a good friend. Tip number seven, be quick to apologize. Like if you know you made a mistake, if you know you said something wrong, be apo apologetic apologize there's no reason not to except for like your own pride and that's something that you have to work on within yourself if you want to be a good friend there's no reason for you to make a mistake and blame others there's no reason for you to make a mistake and, and play the victim there's just no reason for you to do that be a good friend by apologizing when you are wrong and even when you aren't sure if you're wrong think about it reflect on it journal about it talk to your therapist whatever you need to do because I guarantee you there is some thing that you may have said that could have hurt them if there's like this argument going back and forth I guarantee you even if you did absolutely nothing wrong there is something that you could apologize for if you really think about it if you step into their shoes there have been times when I have felt like I did absolutely nothing wrong and then I talk to the person and they say like you know what you actually did say something that hurt my feelings you know what I say I am so sorry I didn't mean to hurt your feelings so if I did hurt your feelings in any way I apologize honestly the situation made me feel hurt because A B C D E F G it's about communication it's about listening to them empathizing with them stepping into their shoes and apologizing for what you did wrong. You have to get over yourself sometimes. I know for me it can be hard to apologize a lot of the time, especially when I'm fueled with anger, with fire. I'm fueled. I don't want to apologize all the time. But it's something that you need to do, especially if you want to keep people as friends. But if you're not sure about a person, go ahead and go watch the reasons why you the 10 reasons why you should cut somebody off. If you're not sure about them, if you feel like they're not being a good friend to you, because you know, right now we're talking about you being a good friend, but if you feel like they're not being a good friend, go watch that video. Go cut them off. Go see if they align with the 10 reasons as to why you should cut them off, okay? okay. Number eight. That's nine. Number eight. Respect your friend's boundaries, okay? Respect their boundaries. Respect their boundaries. Respect their boundaries. <laughs> Okay, if they came up to you, if they talked to you, if they communicated to you and they were like, I don't like this, I don't like when you do this, I, I it hurts my feelings when this thing happens, or even if it's not about you and it's about someone else and they tell you a story about how this person did this to them and it hurt their feeling and they set it that boundary with somebody else and then you go and break the same boundary, don't do that. Don't do that. Girl, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't break your friend's boundaries. And if you do accidentally break one of their boundaries, go back to number seven and apologize for your mistake, okay? Number nine. Another way to be a good friend is to communicate your boundaries. You also need to stand up for yourself. You don't like something, communicate it. I can know that could be hard, and it was hard for me. It still could be hard for me sometimes to communicate my boundaries because sometimes I'll be feeling like I shouldn't have anything to complain about, but that's not true. Everybody has something to complain about and you don't want to be stressed all the time. You don't want to be having all this drama. The only way you're going to prevent being stressed and having all this drama is to take the drama that you do have and the stress that you do have and analyze the cause of that. Why are you feeling stressed? Is it because Bianca keeps calling you at 2 o'clock in the morning? Okay, well you need to tell her to stop calling you at 2 o'clock in the morning and hopefully she respects your boundary like you're going to ask her to. You're going to ask her to respect your boundaries. And if they can't respect your boundaries, you're going to go and watch this video about 10 reasons why you should cut this person off because they don't know how to respect your boundaries, okay? Okay. Tip number 10. Don't be a liar. You're going to be honest. You're going to be loyal to your friends. You're not going to lie. There's no reason to lie. They say 
oh do you want to go get coffee you're gonna say actually I can't do that right now because this 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 and this and it's gonna be the truth you're not gonna lie to them you're not gonna be like you're on the phone you're not gonna be like oh sorry my mom's calling me because your mom's not calling you you just want to get off the phone you're gonna say actually I really want to get some rest right now so I'll talk to you later because that's what you really want. right you're gonna be honest there's no reason to lie there's no reason to lie at all so that is the last tip and you're going to take this advice and you're gonna be a better friend okay because I believe in you I believe in you and I believe in whoever you're trying to make a better friend. If somebody else is not being a good friend to you, send them this video. If somebody sent this video to you, it's because they want you to be a better friend, okay? Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm so happy to be able to make so many videos now that I'm not working. So I'm going to be posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2.22 p.m. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.